Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat and it's time to play. Today we've got a new game called Foundry. Uh, this is available right now. It's early, early access. It's available at itch.io. You can pick this up now and play. Um, still has maybe a year or two before release, according to the developers. And the developers were kind enough to give me a key so I could produce this content for you. So thanks to them. Let's start with the brand new game here. And I'm going to click the random seed generator a few times just for giggles. And hit start. And there we go. All right. It starts with this information database. The information database is kind of like a, uh, I don't know, an encyclopedia of information about the game. And new tabs or new sections get added as you play. So as you move forward in the game, there'll be more information in here. Let's just go through this quick overview. Welcome to Foundry. With this information database, you'll find detailed explanations on how to create a thriving space factory. Please take a quick look at our quick start page. It's short and provides you with the most important information to get you started. New pages will be unlocked as you progress and early access. These pages are going to be extended continuously. If you encounter any wrong or missing information, please let us know. All right, let's check out the quick start. It says mining terrain and ore blocks can be mined with your mining drill, which has to be selected in your hot key bar to be used. So that makes sense. It's right down there. Crafting and inventory. Open your crafting menu and start crafting your first machinery. The required materials need to be in your inventory. Crafted objects will be added to your inventory and multiple crafting actions can be queued. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. And construction, drag a structure from your inventory to your hot key bar and select it. Move the placeholder to your desired position and click and place it. We'll see this later, so I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Demolition, enable the demolition mode to remove structures and you get the removed object back in your inventory. So yeah, as you remove buildings or, or machines in this game, you, you get all of it back in your inventory so nothing gets lost, which is cool. And there is an option to dispose of things if you want. But this is just saying there's a special key that you press when you want to remove a machine and not, not destroy it. First goals, you start with automating ore mining and start producing basic goods. More details on the task system at the top right. Don't be afraid to build multiple machines for the same task. One or two will rarely suffice. Okay, that's pretty standard for this type of game. Let's just take a quick look at the advanced tips that they've got. Build modes. There are two build modes, snap and free. You can see which one is active above your hotkey bar. The snap mode will try to place the structure by snapping it to the point you're looking at. This can be problematic if there is no point you can look at, for example, extending a ledge of building parts. Free mode will always place the structure at a certain distance in front of you. All right. Instant build mode. The hotkey bar is limited and often is not feasible to drag a structure into your bar just to place one object. Right click the item in your inventory and you will be able to place it straight away. Okay, we'll see that. Upgrade machinery, machinery of the same type can be replaced by selecting the machinery you want to upgrade and look at the one you want to replace. Okay, it looks like you can do an in-place upgrades and it works with belts. In this case, the whole belt will be replaced until the next built distributor. Okay, that seems kind of cool. Copy recipe to another machine. Use your tablet's recipe copy mode to quickly copy a set recipe from one machine to all others. After you've selected a recipe to copy, you can quickly set or paste it at other machines by looking at them and clicking while holding the modifier key. See the exact key bindings in the tablet. I haven't tried this yet, so I've played it for about three or four hours so far. And I had a lot of fun, but I haven't tried this copying the recipes to other machines yet, so maybe we'll get to that. And then it says for multiple hot key bars, you can toggle between them by pressing tab. So if we look down at the bottom of the screen, if I hit tab, you can see there's three bars I can cycle through and only one of them has anything on it, which is the mining drill. And move multiple items at once. So shift click tries to move the whole stack to the opposite inventory, control left click, tries to move as much items as possible, multiple stacks, only same items as the clicked one to the opposite inventory, stack splitting by shift and right click. Crafting, you craft more than one item by clicking on it on a recipe by using different click patterns. All right, so we'll come back to this or we, we can always bring this back up by hitting escape in game. All right, so if I look at the top right, there's our little tutorial tips, it looks like. 
So we need to mine 150 xenoferrite. And so if I look around, I actually see some ore up here. The ore is, you know, has a unique look. And this looks like it. If I hit the V key, that brings up a tablet and I just mouse kind of point at the ore, it'll tell me what it is. So here's xenoferrite ore. And it says we need 150 of that. So if I go up to these nodes, I can mine this ore directly one at a time, just like this, and you'll see it one ore is being added to my inventory at a time. But each ore patch starts with some of these nodes here that look unique. And if I drill into these guys, boom, 39 ore all in one shot. So for each ore deposit, I believe they put a few of these nodes on top so you can quickly get some more when you need it before you've set up all the automation to mine this stuff. So we're going to grab all of these nodes while we're here. We've just met the goal of mining 150, but I'm going to grab them all because I happen to know that we're going to need plenty of this stuff. So let's clear out these real quick. And I'm just left clicking, hitting the left, hold down the left mouse to clear these out. And you got to be pretty close for it to take effect. All right. I do notice the mouse sensitivity is pretty high and there isn't a setting yet in game for me to adjust that. So I apologize if it scrolls really fast as I, as I go left and right. It can be a little bit jarring. All right, let's see what the next thing is. Mine 150 Technum Blue Ore. It says F2 for more information. Let's just see what comes up when I do that. Acquire ore. Before you can start building, you need to acquire ore. There are two basic ores, xenoferrite and technum. Their voxel blocks look very different from the average terrain, and on top are a few ore veins, which will yield a lot to get you started. Okay, yeah, those are those little nodes we just mined. Then you can use the map, M, to find ores you're looking for. Okay, xenoferrite looks like this color, and technum is that color. And then here's how ore looks. Okay, we've just seen that. Okay, and we've seen all that. So let's go find our Technum. Let's hit the M key to bring up the map. And I see, I can zoom in uh, just with the mouse wheel here. And I see I've got some Technum nearby. If I look around, I see there's more Xenoferrite way up in the top left here. And there's some Ignimor, Ignium, which I have not used yet in game. And a reservoir of Olamite. And another reservoir of Olamite. And then as we explore... It's supposedly, you know, an infinite map. So as we explore, more parts of the map will be revealed. But for right now, let's go find that Technum. It looks like it's uh, over to my left, I suppose. So if I just tilt this way and bring up the map key, make sure I'm facing the right direction a little too much. All right, somewhere down this way. I don't think there's any fall damage. This vegetation you can drill and you'll get, uh, what do they call it? Let's see, biomass. So I got 10 biomass for that. So yeah, some of the trees, or all of the trees, and then some of these plant, these odd-looking things here uh, will give you biomass. And we're going to need that, too, actually, to generate energy in the early game. So I'm going to grab just some of these opportunistically as we go. Right now, in this version of the game, and I'll put the version number in the description, you have to hit the jump key, which is, I believe, the space bar in order to hop up a one block height. I think there's going to be a setting in game where you can make it so that you can just walk one one height high blocks like it's steps. You don't need to hit the jump key. But that's not in the version that I have yet, so we can't do that. Let's check the map. I just blew right past it. Let's come down this way. Let me just check the map. It looks like it's straight down. I just blew past it here. And we should see something very similar, just a different color. There we go. So here's our Technomore. And again, we're just going to mine all these nodes here up top. This is the easy pickings. And you can see we're collecting quite a bit, 65 already. But I'm just going to grab them all because I know we're going to need them. And might as well do it now while we're here. And then we'll set up automation to mine the, uh, the rest of this ore. Because mining that manually is very, very slow. But in a pinch, if you had to have it, if you needed that ore really bad, you could always just use your mining drill and get one at a time. All right, we've got 280 already, 305. 
Let's grab the rest of these and then we'll grab it the next task up at the top right. There's one way down here I see kind of hiding. Let's grab that guy. I think there might be one or two more. Here we go. Boom. And one more over here. Boom. All right, now we need to craft a primitive furnace. And since we're going to be messing a lot with the Xenoferrite and this Technum Ore, I kind of want to spend most of my time in between these two, these two ores or replacing things kind of in this general area. So I'm going to double back, maybe halfway in between, and look for a flat-ish area. We are really in a bumpy area here with a lot of trees. Uh, let's see, but we can clear these out and we probably will just so we can kind of see what we're doing. And there is a day and night cycle. You can see we've got nighttime is starting to come in here where it looks like we're right around dusk. I'm going to jump back. This might be fine right here. I'm going to take out some of these trees. And that'll get us some biomass, which we're going to need for the primitive furnace that we're going to create. There is a light, a flashlight, and if I hit the L key, boom, now I've got a flashlight. It doesn't have a huge area of effect, but as far as I can tell in game, in this, you know, this version of the game, there's no cost for using it. There's no energy, it doesn't deplete energy. It's just a, a never-ending flashlight as far as I can tell. So I'm just going to clear out these trees. Uh, let's see here. We'll come up here. Maybe we'll just drop our furnace. Just check the map. I'm going to go up north a little bit more. Because uh, it's going to be hard to find this stuff with all of this vegetation. And especially at night. So I kind of want to locate these early buildings where we can easily navigate to them from the map. So this looks fine. Let's just drop a... Let's go craft that primitive furnace. So I'm just going to hit the C to bring up the craft menu. You can see I've got all this ore that we've mined. And some biomass as well. So let's grab, let's see, primitive furnace. I've got conveyor, conveyor slope, loader, biomass generator, assembler, drone miner, primitive furnace. There we go. So let's craft one of these. If you just click it, you can see it being built on the bottom left. And then to place this, there's two things I can do. I can drag it down on my hotbar here, and then as soon as I select that item of the hotbar it's going to allow me to place it or like they said in the um in the tutorial message or in that info database if i bring up my inventory which in this case is b and you can see these hotkeys some of the basic hotkeys in the lower right so if i hit b for backpack i can right click on anything in here this is the only thing i can really build the primitive furnace i'll right click on it and then it selects it for me to place so I'm going to rotate it so the panel is facing forward, and I'm just going to drop that down. And now it says craft 40 xenoferrite plates at the primitive furnace and craft 20 technum rods at the primitive furnace. So let's go in and take a look at this furnace. We've got uh, a manage inventory and a configure, shut down, reset the task, and then this imp like input, put things into the furnace, and this is take things out of the furnace, this arrow that's pointing up. So let's click on the configure. I just point at it and click. And I need to make xenoferrite plates. So I'm going to choose that. Now we're set up. Uh, we set the production to be xenoferrite plates. And I just need to put in some ore. I can do that in two ways as well. I can go into this inventory, grab xenoferrite ore, and drop it in. Or what's a little bit easier is I can just click this input, this yellow input button. I just Point at it, click it, and it'll automatically pull that ore from my inventory and put it in here. The other thing I do need to do, though, is see it says it's missing fuel. I've got to put in some of that biomass we collected. So let's grab that, and just I'm just going to drag it over to where it says fuel. And now we're producing uh, xenoferrite plates. We need to craft 40 of those. While that's grinding away here, it moves kind of slow. We've got six already. I'm going to use the time just to clear out some of this vegetation around here. Just so we can kind of see where we're at. 
maybe navigate a little bit better early game. And then hopefully we can see that furnace from a distance. So I'll just clear these out. And this is getting me biomass, which we're going to need as our early game power source. Later we can do solar. And I think there's more. The solar's as far as I've gotten in the game. I've only played for a few hours. All right. Take this guy out. And now let's see if I can find the furnace. There it is over there. It's a little hard here in the dark. There we go. And let's take out this big tree. Boom. And let's see how we're doing. We've got 35 so far. We need to get 40. So we got a couple more. Let me just uh, use these few seconds here to clear out some more vegetation. this tree all right let's go grab our ore here's one right here too so now if i try and drill on this furnace it's not going to let me do anything and those build modes if you look right above my hotbar it says z demolition mode if i hit z the z key now i can actually remove this with my drill if i click the left button that'll slowly remove this furnace and put it in back in my inventory but we don't need to do that. We want that there. Okay, we've got 50, 50 xenoferrite plates, plates waiting in the inventory, the output inventory. So I'm just going to do the same thing like I did with the input. I'm just going to use the output button here. Boom. And that just put it in my inventory. So now we've met the first task. Now we got to craft 20 Technum rods, it says. So in order to do that, because we've got the production set up to xenoferrite plates, I'm going to have to point at reset task, boom, and reconfigure for the Technum rods. And I can do the same thing here of dropping in the ore. I just push that button, input button, and it takes the Technum ore from my inventory automatically and starts producing the Technum rods. So we only need 20 of these, but we'll let that thing burn. And again, maybe grab some of this, grab some of these plants while we're waiting. Again, I'm pretty sure we're going to need this. And we can kill a little bit of time. I don't want to get too far away from the furnace because I will lose it. Let's see if it shows up on the map at all. Uh, if I zoom in. Not much. I don't know if that's supposed to be it there. Let's see if I point this way. Yeah, I guess that's it there, that little tiny dot. So I guess we could find it. If we get too far away, we could just bring up the map and look for a tiny blue dot. But as we grow the factory, as we build a factory, I can't really say grow the factory. We've only got one little tiny building here. All right, let's see. 35. Let's go ahead and grab those and move the tutorial forward. And we'll just let the rest produce. In fact, I'm going to drop more ore in here because I know we're going to need it. So I just, again, hit the input button on the control panel here and it dumped in some more ore and let this, and it's letting this guy just process more. And we've got plenty of fuel. So there's 95 of that biomass still in there. So the fuel burns fairly slow and lasts a long time, which is good. Okay, now we got to craft 20 building blocks. So I'm going to bring up I'm just going to hit the C key to bring up the crafting menu and I'm going to look for building blocks. So we've got the conveyor stuff here, loader, biomass generator, assembler, drone miner. So this is what we're going to use later to actually mine ore in an automated fashion. Primitive furnace, crate, logistics container one, uh, the building blocks. So I need 20 of these. It shows this number in the bottom right of each of these icons shows me how many can I actually create given the resources I have in my inventory. So it's saying I can only actually create eight right now with what I've got. I need to craft 20 and these take six xenoferrite plates and three technum rods. So most likely we're going to need to change that furnace back over to the plates and get more of those. But in the meantime, if I just, if I left click, I get one of these. 
If I right click, it queues up five of them. You can see in the bottom left hand, the inventory, the crafting is happening. And then if I, sh I think it's shift left click, it'll just make everything that it possibly can with what I've got in my inventory. So while those, okay, so those are done crafting. It says, oh, look at the tutorials. Oh, look at this. Okay. One thing I just didn't notice here. When we craft building blocks, if we look at the output on the pop-up, it's giving me five for every time I, uh, I initiate the crafting. So you get five per shot. So that's why I've managed to have 20 already or however many I have, I have 40. So we're in good shape there. I am going to take inventory out up here, take these Technum rods, and I'm going to put more of my ore in there and just get that burning. Now we need to place 20 building blocks as a foundation next to an ore deposit. All right, let me bring up my map. And we can start with a Technomore or we can start with a Xenoferrite ore. Let's go ahead and start with the Xenoferrite. So let's go find that ore deposit again. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge here on the side of a hill. What I might, so what I got to do is I need to either, oh, there's one we missed. We're going to need to either do some drilling or we're going to need to build out a platform because as we want to mine this, we're going to need to set up uh, some machines on some level ground here. What I might do, let's try, I'm going to start mining some of this. Um, what is it giving me? Dirt. I'll mine out some of this dirt just to create a platform area. Let's see here. And then I will, let's get rid of this tree. And I just want to set up a flat space where I can uh, start building these machines. All right, let's see. Let's fill. Let's do a little more drilling. I actually want some of this dirt in my inventory so I can backfill and make a little platform. So I'm just going to grab some dirt here. And then I'm going to pop that in my hop bar. So I'll go into my backpack, grab the dirt. I've got 34. I'm just going to drag that down here. And let's see. Actually, why don't we just drill down one more level and see if this works. So I'm just trying to clear out a flat space where we can drop these 20 building blocks. And that's going to be the platform for our factory and those building blocks conduct electricity through them. So machines that you place on those building blocks will automatically be able to get electricity from the building blocks. And then uh, on also on top of the building blocks, you'll need to provide a power source to feed electricity into the building blocks into the base. And we'll see all that here in a minute. I just want to clear out a space where we can do this next to the ore. All right, that should be good. Let's give it a shot. Let's go put our, I'm going to go back to the backpack. I'm going to grab our building blocks, put them in the hot bar. Okay, and we got our new tip here popped up automatically. Building parts and energy. Most machinery, drone miner and assembler, needs to be placed on a foundation made from building parts to function. Building parts supply connected machinery with power. Okay, we just mentioned that. And it's a low voltage power grid. Certain machinery needs to be supplied with high voltage power. More about this later. All right. Both the requirement for a foundation and or a high voltage connection is stated in the respective tooltip of the item. To generate power for a low voltage power grid, use a burner generator and it can be placed multiple times. So they're just showing that's actually what the burner generator looks like. We're probably going to be doing that next right after we do the platform. And uh, we'll see these, this plat these building blocks here real soon. That's the other thing that they're circling here at the bottom. All right, so that was quick and easy. Let's go ahead. I've got it selected. And you can see these little blue arrows sticking out. If I left click and hold and then drag and then just mouse around, I can uh, build multiple blocks at once. So that looks 
good for a start. Let's do that. Okay, we've done it. Now we need to craft a drone miner, and I probably don't need to go get more resources, but let's go see uh, if I hit the craft menu. Here's the drone miner. I can't build any yet. I need more xenoferrite plates, machinery parts, and electronic components. So if I look at the components menu, here's my machinery parts. That takes xenoferrite plates, and my electronic components takes technum rods and wire coil. And wire coil is just technum rods. So again, just those two basic inventory, those two basic uh, resources that we've mined by hand. I grab this while I'm here. Let's go find our primitive furnace and craft up some more stuff. I've got some technum rods here sitting waiting for me. I'm going to grab those. I'm going to check my inventory real quick and see which one I need more of. So it looks like I need xenoferrite plates. I've got lots of technum rods. So let's change the production here again. I'm going to escape out of my inventory. Go ahead and point at reset task. Configure. Get some xenoferia plates going. I still have a bunch of that in my inventory. So this guy will start producing that. We've got some daylight here, which is nice. Let's take another look at our craft menu. And we want this guy, drone miner, still says zero. I think once I grab some xenoferrite plates, I'll be in good shape. I need at least 10, and I'm going to need more than that because the machinery parts take them as well. So I'll just click pick up inventory. Whoops, I got I to gotta escape out of my inventory before I can do that. So now I can yeah, click on that, grab the plates. I'll drop in more ore. Boom. Let's grab these plates and see if that's enough. Craft. Yeah, looks good. I saw a little one there. So there it goes. It's crafting all the little intermediate products in that tiny square at the bottom left. And then it'll craft the auto miner for us. The drone miner. Boom, there it is. All right, let's go see if we can place that on the foundation. Here's our foundation. We're right near the ore. Let's go into the backpack. I'm going to just right click on the drone miner and let's see where we put it. If you look, there's a little white hint there kind of towards the center of the screen that says 55, 52, 47 mineable ore blocks in range. And I guess that uh, it is, I don't know if it's highlighting. Let's see. Yeah, it's highlighting the ore that's in range. So let's just go ahead and drop it right in this corner. And I'm going to hit the R key to rotate it and put the panel forward. Boom. There we go. There's a drone miner. No power. Okay. We look at the top left, top right. <laughs> it's got our next task here to build the biomass generator. So let's do this and then we'll wrap up this first episode of Foundry. It's a brand new game, early access. You can get it on itch.io. Let's go to the crafting menu and craft that biomass generator. There it is, and I can do it. There we go. And I think if I escape out of this, when it's done crafting, it may let me place it automatically. Let's just see if it puts it up. Nope, I was wrong. Back to the backpack. We'll right click on the biomass generator and I'm gonna pop it right, let's see. How about, how about right here? And the panel's facing forward. And I am going to pop in the power. So if we look, it's a burner. It requires biomass. And again, I can just click this input key on the control panel here. Boom. And I took that biomass from our inventory, popped it in automatically. Now the burner is running. And now here's our miner drones doing their thing. So it looks kind of funny here when they're going up a slope, but basically they're shooting little lasers at the ore and mining it and then bringing it back into the auto miner station here, or the drone miner station. If we look at the control panel here. We can see what the status is of each drone, what they're doing, docking, charging. So they'll mine a little, come back and recharge, and then go back out and mine some more. And then you can see we're already collecting that xenoferrite ore here pretty quick. Pretty, pretty quick. If we were to do that manually, remember, it takes forever now. All right, there's one, there's two. So you definitely want these drone miners. 
And then this drone miner machine is getting power from the burner. What is this? Our biomass burner. I forgot what we call it. Let's just see real quick. Yeah, the biomass generator. And that power is being transmitted through these building blocks here at the bottom. And eventually that's going to run out of biomass, but it burns pretty slow. It lasts pretty long, the biomass. And then eventually this inventory will fill up. I think it's going to, I think it fills up at 100. Let's just see. And then these guys, the drones will wait. Yeah, okay, machine inventory full, got 100. Again, I can just click on this output button on the control panel and it'll dump that xenoferrite ore right back into my inventory and those guys will get going again. And in the short term, I can just feed this ore back into our primitive uh, furnace over here and generate some more stuff. So right now we've got 48 plates sitting there. I'm gonna grab those and I'm gonna fill in some more xenoferrite ore. Boom, 98. All right, so that'll create some more plates for us. Eventually we're gonna automate this, all of this. So, but for this first episode, let's go ahead and wrap it here. We got a first look here, our, our early start to our factory. We've got a single primitive furnace here. And then the real factory starts over here with some automation of our mining and a fuel source here. Primitive, this is another kind of primitive fuel source. Eventually we'll get solar and maybe there's more beyond that. We'll find out. Anyway, for now, this is GliderCat saying thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you in the next episode. Take care.